Ladies and gentlemen, live from Kona White, it's Tyler Hobo! It's Tai Hobo over here in beautiful Hawaii, where the sun is always shining. So if you ever come back to the Big Island Hawaii, come over and check out Tai Dai Hobo, or just Google it. Today I'm going to show you something that's really special, man. It was the year 1995. A comet was going through the sky. It was called Hale Bob, because one scientist, his last name was Hale, and the other one was named Bob. They both discovered this comet at the same time, so they called it Hale Bob. So while we were looking at this thing through the sky, wow, it was amazing for like a whole week. And so just right before that time is when I figured out this hang die effect when the rack got knocked over by a windstorm, but I believe God did. And I just want to thank the good Lord for the talent that I've been given so I can share with you guys. Thanks, Lord. Thank you. So because what I'm about ready to show you is very special. It's one of my original designs. It's one of my first original designs. So um, it's going to be really privileged to show you. I think the history is just as important as the art. Because somebody can steal the art, but they can't steal the history because they don't know it. But the history is just as important as the art because people want to know everything. So I'm giving you the idea of what happened during this time. So I thought to myself, because I had this meltdown effect going off already. And so I was like, hey, I could maybe make a meteor. Hey, maybe I can make it hit in the earth. <laughs> and I thought that was really funny, man. So anyway, so I found out that the scientists were predicting that there's going to be a comet hit in the earth or a meteorite. And it's also in the Bible, too. So Revelation 19.11, if you want to check that out. So anyway, so this shirt has scriptural value and scientific value. So let's go check it out, man. And uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So after, <laughs> thank you. so after you got your shirt soaked in the soda ash solution, and you spun it out in the spin cycle in the washer, like I showed you in previous videos, you should check out my other videos. Hit the subscribe button, or hit the notification button, so you can be notified. <laughs> All right, so after you spun your shirt out in the spin cycle in the washer, you're sure it's ready to die. Oh, oh man. <laughs> you're not that kind of die. You know, tie die, you know? All right, so let's check it out, man. Okay. So, what we're going to do, lay your shirt face up. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to have the tail of the comet's going to come right here. So, let me see if I can get a better angle here. Okay. So we're gonna have it, we're gonna have an angle. We're gonna fold the shirt at an angle from like corner to corner, okay? Let's see. And then we're gonna come down to the bottom right here. And put your finger like this, and like that. And now you have your comet. You get a few, a couple of few rubber bands, fold it in threes, and just squish it, slide underneath there. See how it slide underneath there, right? You get, double it up. Use three fingers, and you have this flat on the surface right here. And you slide it underneath like that, okay? So then you come over here, and you squish this right to like that. And you put another rubber band. Double it up. And slide it over this part right here. Okay? Don't have to be perfect. Nothing's perfect. Everything's beautiful. 
Just make sure you have a good time doing whatever you're doing. Okay, this is going to be the earth. This is going to be the meteor right here. And this is going to be the tail. So I'm going to show you this little trick right now. We're going to come on over to the dye area. Hang on. Okay, so I'm going to get my shirt. And this part right here, I'm going to have it hanging just like this. And, and this is going to be slight at an angle like. Okay. So that way the dyes will go more that way and you have your your tail of your comet coming down. So, you know. Sound effects. Sound effects. So, you get your dyes. I'm going to use yellow, red, turquoise, green, and purple, and black. I show you how to mix colors on my other videos. Should you check it out? It's really simple. I have three basic colors. And you can make all the colors. Because we're all the same color. We're all psychedelic. We're all yellow, red, and blue. So, um, Trigger, or Trigger. Cruiser, do you want to say hi? Cruiser, wanted to say hi really quick. Cruiser, say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> all right, so. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to wear, uh, you're supposed to wear gloves, but I ain't got any. Oh man, not that again. But I suggest you all wear them, you know. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, yeah. We're going to hit the yellow right here. Okay. And then I'm going to show you a slight angle from the V right here. And I'm going to come right here like this. I'm going to squirt it down. Just let it just squirt all the way down like that. And I'm going to get the red. I'm going to get the red. Oh, shit. Okay. So, like that. So I did that. Okay. And then I'm going to get the turquoise. I'm going to get the turquoise. I'm going to splash a little right there. And right here, I'm going to go to angle right there at the bottom. See, like I did that? And then just get a little more turquoise like that. The turquoise is going to be the melting down effect. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to get purple. Actually, I'm going to get green first and hit this stop right here. Just a little squirt. See how he did that with no worries, no cares? Because it's art. Art is beautiful, man. It's a universal language. You don't need to speak anybody's language to be able to speak to them with art. Art is similar as music, and it's very universal, so it's it's a beautiful thing. So see how I did that? It's going to be melting down. So I'm going to flip this around, and then give it a slight angle again like that. I'm going to get the yellow again. I'm going to squirt it right here, and then it just flow down. So now I'm going to get the red, and right here like that, and then just at an angle like that. See that? So I left a little bit of yellow in there. And this one here, just a little bit of turquoise. And just a little bit. We're going to put black on this side. Okay, remember I show you how to mix colors. And so, I show you how to make black just on a video on itself. So if you want to check that out, check out my other videos. Hit the subscription button. Okay. So anyway, so, oh, and my website where you can get my stuff from is tadaihobo.com. So, see how I did that black like that? And now I'm going to hit this with the forest green up here. Again, i show you how to mix colors, so make sure you check that out. Okay, so there we go. I'll show you this in a few minutes here. After I let it drip, and normally you should let it sit there and go overnight. And, uh, okay, so we'll get it on it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. Here's what it looks like when we unfold it. All right. Back side, front side. Okay. But I suggest you leave it like that as overnight. And then uh, let it do its thing. And then wash it and just plop it in the washer as is. So if you want to check out my designs and how many I do and stuff, you can either watch the rest of the videos on YouTube or you can check out my website, tiedihobo.com. And if you want to check out Hawaii, when you come over here, if you want to go and check out, <laughs> check it all out, man. Uh, Google it, tie-dye hobo. Okay. Thank you very much, and have a great day, and aloha.